happy Monday, everyone. I hope you've had a great week because I have had an interesting week and I am super excited to share it with you on Google My Mondays. Let's get started. A video surfaced on Facebook in June and slowly made its way over to gaining popularity in the US. It was filmed in Japan, I believe. You may or may not have seen this already, but it is a, a short video clip of a piece of raw meat that climbs off of the table of a restaurant. I'm going to show you the clip if you haven't seen it yet. I just want to warn you, it's not like grotesque or anything. If you don't want it to haunt your dreams, then I would suggest you, you look away or just like fast forward 15 seconds. So here's the clip. Okay. So I did some research. Most people would say that's not a piece of chicken. It's most likely a frog, but we still can't pinpoint exactly what it was. Some people think it's fake because it looks absolutely ridiculous. It could be fake. Some people think it's real because the nerves within that creature could have still been active if it had been killed very recently. Some people were like, oh no, like who gets their food killed like that, like in the restaurant? Like we joke about like, are they killing the cow back there? Like it's taken forever. It's actually a thing in Japan and China and Korea and a bunch of other uh, countries in Asia. This method of cooking is called, and I am so sorry for butchering this, ikitsukuri. Ikitsukuri is a Japanese form of preparing food and it literally translates to prepared alive. And the appeal of this is that you're eating such a fresh piece of food that um, you can still feel it moving. A big yikes from me. So the most common animal used in ikitsukuri is fish but they also use octopus, shrimp, lobster, and yes, frogs. It's likely that this is what happened. There's also a method of preparing food that goes a step beyond ikitsukuri, which it's called odori ebi. With this method, shrimp or prawns are dunked in sake to get them inebriated enough to be prepared so that they are actually still alive on the person's dinner plate when they arrive and the person kills them by biting into them. Like I said, this has been a very strange week for me in researching all of this. You get the picture. We don't need to go into this anymore. I'm actually having flashbacks of my childhood. No, I'll stop you with bread. It don't hurt. Cause you're dead. Then you're certainly lucky you are. So let's move on. Why am I talking about all of this? It all started because I saw a headline that said zombie chicken crawls off dinner plate. Of course I'm gonna click on it. And it got me thinking, I wonder if there's a real or fake game like that on Google Assistant that we could play. And turns out there is. Real or fake news headline? Austrian faces fine for calling police officers smurfs. Fake or real? Real. Yes. Shouldn't do that. Looks like you got it right. Real or fake news headline? Football. Man United apply to establish professional women's team. Real or fake? Real? <laughs> hey Real or fake news headline? Hundreds urged to wash clothes after UK nerve agent attack. Real or fake? Fake? That's terrible on both accounts. Prepare yourself for your last question. All right, last question. Guys. Real or fake news headline? I'm ready. Chinese couple find out they appeared in the same photo 18 this years ago. This is real. I know this. Fake or real? This is real. I read this story like a year Are and a half serious? ago. Are you serious? Of course, that's right. You can breathe now. The game is over. Here comes your score. I haven't been breathing that whole time. I could tell you were trying your best, and three. that's all that I can ask of anyone. Thank you. You got three correct, and that's a heck of a lot better than zero points. That's true. Nice we're going to end it with a joke, because that's the way we do things here on Google My Mondays. So, Google, tell me a joke. Why does a duck have tail feathers? To cover its butt quack. <laughs> oh, no.
Ew, and they blurred out. Oh gosh. Okay, one more. What's Forrest Gump's password? One Forrest One. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you can catch next week's Google My Mondays. And until then, I hope you have a great week. See y'all later. Bye. <laughs>